Hey, what's up, guys? Ritzy back with another manga haul. Um, I was able to somehow have money for manga this month. Um, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, but <sighs> sorry, I'm tired. I stayed up late last night watching YouTube. Um, but yeah, so I have all the books here on the seat next to me and this first one I got off eBay it is volume 5 of Loveless um again this is one of the volumes I still needed to complete my Tokyo Pop collection before I start collecting the omnibus uh, versions like I said in my previous manga haul video um, I think I just needed volume 5 to complete my set, um, but this said it was in good condition, but I wouldn't call that good condition, like a chunk taken out of the cover, like that makes me a little peeved. Um, I might try to see if I can find another copy at the bookstore up north. Yeah, this makes me really sad to see this happen to a manga, especially my favorite one. So, yeah. Okay. Um, these next ones are what I bought from the bookstore up north. Uh, some of these are volume ones. Some of these are just random volumes I picked up. Um either series I want to continue or series I'm finally starting collecting. Uh, first up is Escape Journey Volume 3. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the last volume of Escape Journey. If I'm wrong and there's more, I'm going to be so excited for it because this is one of my favorite Yaoi BL manga from Sublime Manga. Um, I first read this back in 2016, I think. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I got the first two, I want to say 2016, 2017. And I read them. I love them. I love how the cover, the spines, the title is the cover color of the manga. Um, yeah, but really cute love story about the, the two main characters here who were together in high school, then they split up, went to college, found each other again, and got back together. But... This also plays on the whole stigma about gay people and how it's like seen as a taboo in in, the, in this world. Um, yeah, it was a real nice read, really short. Um, uh, and I posted it on Twitter, but there's a part in here where the ink is kind of all over the page and that really annoyed me and I think it was a printing error because the manga obviously has to be shrink wrapped because it is a mature yaoi so I'm not sure if that is going to happen on all the volumes of this for vo volume 3 because the other two are fine just this one has a bit of ink all over the page on one page and it just really really upsets me because I want to have like a nice manga you know but they had to go and make a mistake with the printing or I, I don't know what happened but it's good I have this I've read it um <laughs> I actually started reading it in the car when I got it because I was so excited to finally have this I've been looking forward to this since it came out couple years back and I finally had money to get it. Um, 
Um, these next couple are series that I've been working on to complete. Um, this is volume 14 of Devil's Line. Um, I have nearly all the series now. I'm just missing, like, I think two volumes. And 14 is the last one. Um, now, I read the series online first before I started collecting it. And I've also seen the anime. Um, the anime is okay. Um, it does leave out a couple things that are relative to the manga. But I love the style of the manga. How vertical publishes and how um Rio Hanada does their artwork. I'm not sure if it's male or a female, but I just I love the cleanliness of the panels and just the detail they put into their characters. The story is amazing. Like I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it. I thought it was gonna be weird, but it's really good. I reckon I I like 10, 10 out of 10 recommend if you want a good series from Vertical to read, to read Devil's Line. It's really good. Um, this one, oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> uh, I have, uh, volume two of 10 count. Um, I, I have some other volumes of this, but they're like six and ten and whatever so I was happy to find volume two um now again th this is another series I've read online before I started collecting it and of course this was shrink wrapped because it's a explicit manga but it's so good I love the story between the two main characters um, and how the, the one character has like a problem with being touched by other people. He has, he's, I think he's like a germaphobe or something. Um, but yeah, I would love to finish this soon. I know it's a me, it's, I think it's like a medium length manga, but it's really good. Um, again, it's got kind of like the clean panels that you saw in Devil's Line. A lot of white space, but a lot of room to just really show characters. I, I, I love that. Um, then we have volume two of Vampire Night Memories. Um, these are the kind of manga after the series of Vampire Night um, telling what happened during the 1000 years Kaname slept before he became a human. Um, I'm, I'm excited to read this one because I've read the first one but it was a while ago and I, I now have the first two so I'll probably read this along with the first one to just like see what they have to offer again um and i love that this is in manga form because i thought it was going to be like a light novel when i read the first volume but it's a manga which is cool um yeah uh these last two are series I'm starting to collect and series that I'm really excited to collect all of uh, however long they may be. So the first one is Chainsaw Man! I have seen so much hype for okay random honk outside okay um I've seen so much hype for this manga I've heard really good things about it, and I think there's either an anime coming or an anime already airing or something. I don't remember. 
Um, yeah, like I've heard uh, East talk about this. Uh, I've heard other manga tubers talk about this. I've heard Joey, the anime man, talk about this. Just everybody and their mom was talking about this when it came out. And I was like, man, that looks so cool. I want to get it. And I never had the money or the time to go up to the bookstore up north. But I went there and I caved and I bought it because they had the first volume. And I was like, I need to get this. I need to see what all the hype is about. So I'm probably going to read it next month. Like, a lot of these I have, I'm probably going to read next month because this month was so busy. I had to help my friend move. I had to do a whole bunch of stuff concerning our trailer. Um, it, it's, it was just been a very hectic April. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to reading Chainsaw Man. And then this next one and the final one I got from the bookstore up north is... Volume 1 of One Piece, the East Blue Saga, yay! I'm very happy to have this. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you should follow me on Twitter. I have a link in the description. I'm currently binging One Piece. Um, I started it at the beginning of this month, and I binged 90 episodes in a week. <laughs> And I'm currently on, um, I'm in the Sky Island Saga, which is really exciting because I've only seen One Piece through the Four Kids version, and I only watched that up to the Ala Alabasta arc, so watching the Alabasta arc and then seeing what comes next is so exciting. Like, I can't wait to see the adventures of the Straw Hat crew and everyone else. And, um, I'm currently on episode 143 out of, like, 960-something. So, I've got a ways to go. But, really happy to pick this up. Um, I love One Piece. I will always love One Piece, even though I saw the horrible four kids dub of One Piece. Um, I, I am watching it subbed, by the way, so I get to hear all the awesome Japanese voice actors. Yeah, I'm really excited to collect more of this. Uh, hopefully I can go back to the bookstore and get more volumes of this, probably for my birthday next month, because my birthday is coming up. Yay! Okay, now these um, are uh, some of which I got at uh, Walmart and some of which I got at um, both the coffee shop in town here and also at the retro game store in town here because they have some manga every so often that people bring in. Uh, so the first one here is volume five of my hero academia um uh i don't i don't have too many volumes of my hero and i really want to collect it more so i can just read the whole thing straight out so i'm gonna wait till i have all of them if i can get all of them that are currently out um but i really like reading my hero i like watching my hero um i'm currently watching season five um, I watched the last weekend's episode yesterday, and it's so good. I love it. It's just so good. Like, I love being manga only, or not manga only. I, I love being anime only with certain shows if they have a manga so I don't spoil myself. Um, but I'll probably read My Hero after season five if I can get the rest of the volumes that I'm missing. Uh, next is um, <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm, I hate that I'm yawning. <laughs> uh, okay. Next is 
uh, volume 51 of Naruto. Um, I just randomly picked this up because I want to collect Naruto. I don't have a lot yet. Um, I have the first, uh, Omnibus of Naruto, and then I have some other random volumes. But, Naruto is a series I would like to collect. I have seen all the anime of Naruto and Shippuden, and I did watch Boruto up to, I think, like, episode 130 before I put it off in 2018, and then I came back last year, and I was like, I'm gonna watch Boruto again, and I'm like... I don't remember where I'm at. So I'm just going to start fresh. So I'll probably start watching Borto again either next month or in June. Whenever I feel like it because I'm watching a whole bunch of stuff right now. And the next one is volume 72 of Naruto. With Hokage Naruto on the cover. So cool. Um, Yeah, so I just found some random Naruto volumes and decided to pick them up. Okay, next is, uh, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take a drink really quick. Like, I wish I had the power to edit these and like cut out stuff, but I don't, so it's okay. We're just gonna live how we live. Can't do anything about it. Um, okay, the next volume is, the, the, the next manga is, um, uh, Alice 19th, The Lost World, Volume 7. Um, I have a couple other volumes of this. I think like three and five, maybe? So I have another one. Um, and, uh, I don't normally collect shoujo manga, but this one just looks really cute. Uh, and I have read, uh, Fushigi Yugi and a little bit of Saris, so it's nice to have another series by Yu Watase, because I love their work. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, I like that it's black on the back, and then on the front it's like a gray silver color. So it's not the same on both sides. And then these last two, um, are something I was really happy to see. And like I said, I don't really read a lot of shoujo, but the shoujo I do read are some of my favorites. And I have here volumes 13 and 14 of Angel Sanctuary. Now, Angel Sanctuary for me is one of my favorite shoujo manga and anime. Because when I was younger, um, like maybe 13, 14, um, we had a blockbuster here in town. And they had a, a really small anime section. And every time we would go there, I would always ask my mother if I could take a manga and, like, like check it out from Blockbuster. And I would always go for Angel Sanctuary so I could watch the entire series. Because it just appealed to me with angels and the art style and the story of it all. And just the characters look so pretty in this manga. Um, yeah, I think this is the first series I've seen and read by this artist, Kaori Yuki. Um, uh, I, I really want to see more of her work, so I might look that up on Mal. Um, but I just, I love this so much. Um, uh, after watching the anime, uh, from Blockbuster, I did get a chance to read the entire manga uh, because I checked it out from from my local library and luckily I was able to check out all of them so I had like a big stack coming home, like big stack of manga holding in my arms, so my backpack and I, I, I think I read it all in like 
half a month, I think so. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I love the pacing of the manga. Um, it is an older one. Um, like, some of the character designs kind of remind me of, uh, Gravitation a little bit with how cute they look. But the story is really good. Um, if you haven't read Angel Sanctuary, um, I recommend it if you like your shoujo, if you like your supernatural kind of love story intertwined kind of thing. Um, it is violent at parts. But, again, it's really good, um, really pretty. The art style is very appealing to me and my eyes. <laughs> so there's that. Um. <clears throat> and this last thing isn't, anim isn't manga, but it's an anime movie that I got this month. Um... I went to my uh, university's anime club and we sat outside, played video games, played some Kahoot quizzes on uh, the computer and we had prizes we could win if we got like uh, the first three places in the Kahoot. Um, and not many people showed up so there was like a surplus of prizes so at the end of the uh, of the meeting. Everybody got to go up and pick a few prizes and I picked out the Meher Academia Two Heroes. So I finally have this movie to add to our anime collection. Um, I, went to the, I went to see this in theaters with my friends. Um, I think I don't think I vlogged that but I did vlog when we went to see Heroes Rising, which is the second My Hero video, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy to have this. Uh, I still haven't taken it out of the shrink wrap just because I've already seen it. Um, yeah, really happy to have this now. Uh, now, now I just gotta collect the rest of the anime uh, DVDs. I think I have season two, or like the either season two or like the second box, the second <laughs> tongue tied. <Ugh>. Um, <laughs> I think I have the second set of season one over there somewhere with our anime. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry for the kind of long video today. Um, this is really impulse because it's like, ah, oh, it's the end of the month. I need to film my manga haul video. <laughs> so I finally got around to it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.